All right, so we're gonna do the uh, differentials here. I got 7590 lube. Um, any synthetic lube will do, I guess. But uh, not sure how many gallons these things hold, but uh, all you need is a super wrench, a ratchet, and then a super wrench. Um, so you need to take off the uh, fill cap, which is that right there. And then underneath there is the, uh, is the drain cap. Let's see. Oh, that's your drain cap. That's your fill cap. So that's all that this thing holds is up to that line there where that fill cap is. Um, so I'm hoping, I don't think it's five gallons because that's why I had, I ended up wasting it uh, because it sat outside here and got water in it. But I refilled on the, uh, on the Coronado and I think it only took five gallons because I had an extra five gallons sitting here, so. And if anything, uh, I won't buy another five gallons. I'll get like a gallon or whatever, and uh, or or a couple quarts to top off the uh, the back one there or the front one, however you want to look at it. So, yeah, not too difficult. Like I said, just unscrew the top one so it'll breathe, and then unscrew your uh, drain plug, and that's all there is to it to really drain in the. Uh, differentials i don't know why they charge like six or eight hundred dollars to do a three box and then uh transmission obviously uses different uh different oil so show you that after we get this done here all right let's see if this bitch here will come off oh. the super wrench Yeah. All right. So, doing the front one's going to be fun. less leverage <sighs> fun times here now I think there's a I believe there might be a socket that you can put on this let's go find out huh well no socket will fit unless somebody knows I thought there was something you could stick on there uh, I'm sure there is. Okay, so after you take this out also, you're going to want to put thread sealing on it. Now, nothing should come... Oh, shit. Overfilled much. Okay. I don't know why that's so overfilled. But uh, oil's looking clean. All right, you got the, uh, you got a three eighths, uh, whatever that is, converter over to half inch or just so I can stick a breaker bar on it. So she came undone. I was like, great. I'm gonna break my extension. Uh, I gotta move the camera because you're in the way of my oil. But that's basically it. 
Let's see if there's any chunky chunks that fall out. Well, the oil still looks really clean and there's no chunks, so that's cool. Uh, good deal, see? No chunks, looks pretty clean still. But I hope that's not more than five gallons. Well, if it is, I guess that's why it costs $600 because a pail of this uh, oil is like 250 bucks. So, see, I don't know why they don't have the drain plug on the, on the very bottom, but uh, eh, it is what it is. They said, I, I don't believe there's a bottom plug, but uh, I'll go under there and look, but as far as I can tell. So, I got one of these to make my life easier. Um, it's a pump, and it goes in the five-gallon bucket, and you can get them anywhere, right? I think Harbor Freight even sells them, but uh, you can get them at like a Napa, uh, probably any auto parts or store, like an O'Reilly's or something, but it's got the curve. Uh, it's got the little curved dealio here. Let's see, it's got oil in it. I don't want to drop it. So you just stick it in there and just start pumping away until it starts leaking and makes life a hell of a lot easier. I think they're like, well, at the time, about it like two years ago, I think it was like, uh, 40 bucks or something so anywho let me get this rest of this drained and uh we'll do the other one i'll let you know how many gallons I'll are in there now there is a bottom one it's right here it's the one the magnetic one see that uh-huh no shit on it so that's good no big chunks there's always going to be like metal shavings like fine it's when you see big chunks come out so I put that one back on, and yes, there is a bottom one. I should just restart this video so I don't look like a fucking dumbass. But that's what you do when you learn, right? I thought there was a half-inch drive under there, because I remember with the Coronado, uh, I used the breaker bar. But uh, good deal. Yeah, it, it may take like three gallons, so... I don't know. I'll let you know once we get it pumped in there. But uh, good deal, man. We're going to spray it down. Uh, got my beautiful brake cleaner here. So get it all nice and clean. And uh, put the cap back on her. And go from there and start filling her up. All right. So this little thing looks like from the dentist, right? It slides on in there. We just start pumping away until it starts to overflow. No big deal, yo. Easy peasy. All right. One down, one to go. Uh. Feels like it took about half. Uh, I don't know. Might have to get another couple of quarts, maybe. Uh, we'll see where it goes from there. But I'm gonna do the other one, but it's gonna be the exact same as this one. So no need for me to film that one. Um, and we'll just go from there. All right, we turned on the reefer over there. She's running. Just to cycle her through. I don't think I've ran her for about a week. Uh, so, got the second one. Beautiful. No, uh, no uh, oil. Or, I mean, no shavings on it. Just the normal little, you know, I don't even know what you call it, but it's normal. Uh... And this oil looks brand new. So they may have changed. It's, I've got this truck. I've probably put 100, 110, 120,000 miles on it since I've gotten it. 
Um, that oil looks super clean. So I'm wondering if they didn't change it or if they didn't rebuild these uh, diffs. But that's good for me, right? So I I'm just happy to see there's no shavings and uh, everything looks good. So we're going to throw the, the plug back on and uh, start filling her up. Oh well, shit, didn't get it quite filled up. So I'm going to go down and get another gallon. It shouldn't take more than that. Um, so even if there was say three gallons and three gallons, it's six, five gallon bucket. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll go get another gallon and see. And if that don't work, I'll go get another fucking gallon. But maybe I'll get two gallons because when I go test drive it, those will probably each take another couple of quarts, right? So maybe I'll go get two gallons. I don't want to get another five gallon bucket, but all right. Anywho, I'm going to go do that and then we'll drain the tranny, right? Probably get demonetized for that one, draining the tranny. So, all right, we'll see.